Hey guys, trying to repair the idle here on my lawn tractor. It's a Craftsman with a 22 horse Briggs and Stratton twin cylinder platinum engine. Uh, what it'll do is you can kind of hear it missing as it's idling. And when you put the blades on and start co cutting grass, it'll cut out on you, backfire through the uh, exhaust like all the other videos you probably already watched. Uh, but you take the front end off of it. <clears throat> There's four main bolts here on either side. You can get two. It's pretty easily. Don't you know? Pretty easy. Don't take. Try to take this apart on the tractor. It all comes off uh, with it. Uh, just take this two screws loose here on the carburetor bowl, and note the direction that this is facing. Take pictures as you're going through. Uh, it feels like this don't want to come off because of that rubber gasket. The seat. Up in here, see that little uh, nipple sticking out? It sticks down in that. And I thought, oh man, is there a spring or something? But it's not. Uh, just kind of pull and, and maneuver it up. Anyway, uh, extremely important. This little ring here. In, well, where's my finger at? <laughs> right here. Uh, will come out. Just a little screwdriver, whatever you want to pull out. The jets are different sizes only pull one jet out and put your new o-ring on and put it right back in again take one out put the o-ring on it put it back in its place you take both out you're screwed might as well you know go to a motor shop and pay somebody probably they're different sizes and it's so minuscule you can't tell the difference so pull one jet out i got a little kit here off ebay Come out of Florida, but that's the little jet ring that goes on there. That's the outside bowl ring that goes here. There's the inside bowl ring. And this float comes off. There's just a pin holding it, and it'll come out. It'll slide out, and this little float will come right off of here. Now, I haven't gotten down in. I just know the four O-rings, two on the jets, one here and one down here. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a square one. And there's one that kind of looks like a butterfly. You'll see it when you're ordering the kit. I can get it separated here. Yeah. This one here down inside. And then that flat one. I have to find out where those two go. I'll get back with you all as soon as I get that done. And I'm going to replace all the O-rings out here and the jet O-rings. And I'm going to take that float off and see what else I can discover. I just pulled out the right side jet and you can see the little tiny o-ring there that's what I'm gonna try and replace so you may want to pray for me if you're a praying person my eyes aren't the best but I only took one out again do not take both out you replace the gasket on one side put it back in and then work on to the other side I don't mean to be mean but you need to listen to me on this very important. I guess the inside diameter is just a hair different. And there ain't no way in heck I could tell. Alright, I'm going to try this and then uh, we'll go on down into the rest of it in just a minute. I'm trying to get this little rubber gasket off. I got me a stick pin out. Maybe this isn't the best idea, but I see a little bit of an opening right here. Like where the gasket's falling apart. Well, that gasket ain't no good. <laughs> I'll get the good, the good one on there. There was a little bit of an edge. That's where I got it in. But I'm just taking it off the head of that. A stick pin might be a good idea. It might not. So make dang sure that you've got uh, the new gaskets. I'm going to set that down here and try to fish out this little one. One of these little bitty ones onto a white cloth which I suggest all right there it is I have no idea how I'm gonna get this back on there no idea oh, lordy it has to work oh, let's see here I dropped this sucker I'm gonna be in so much trouble I don't want to use the pin I may have to roll baby roll it's 
so small. I should have pliers or something here. I'm not prepared for this. Hey, what do you know? It went on. But if you notice, there's a gap. Can you see? Can you focus on that? Don't get too close. It won't focus. Is it focused or not? Yeah. See, there's a little bit of gap. Shit, that's worse than we had before. Maybe it'll flatten when I seat it down in there, but I don't like that, that space. As long as it seals on the diameter. <laughs> we'll find out we put it back together. Alright, we'll get back with you. Do one of these at a time. Did I already say that like five times? Yeah, yeah I did. Alright, just hit the pause. Okay, guys. I got both seals replaced in them and put back in place. Uh, I just took the one out on the right first and I did it. I just laid the gasket up over the jet and hooked one side of the gasket loop, if you will, in the channel and just carefully, carefully rolled my finger over on the other side of it to where it would complete the circle. Uh, make sure you're over something like a white cloth and uh, to where you can uh, find it if you accidentally dropped it. But as soon as I removed the old gasket with the pin, or started to pull up on it, it just came right in two. So, hopefully, it's telling me that the gaskets are just, you know, so they've seen their life cycle. My tractor has, I don't know, 260 hours on it, which I don't think is that much. But, you know, I don't work on lawnmowers or anything. I don't know the first thing about them, but I was able to get this off and, and do that. But what I wanted to show you here... Is this float is just held on by the cap sitting over it. The pin simply slides out. There's a flat spot here on mine where you can kind of get a hold of it and you just pull that, excuse me, you pull that pin right out like that, set it down. And I like putting it back in the same direction, but and then the little float will lift right off of there. And I'm investigating as I'm going, so <laughs> there is the little um you guys will know what it is. Uh, it's a fuel nozzle or something that just sets in there. You can also buy these. I'm going to inspect mine and see if there's a problem with it. But it, it literally just slips up out of there. So I need to be careful here because I'm experimenting. This is just from me watching other YouTube videos. Uh, I don't know the actual name of that. You guys will probably. After you watch 13 videos like I did to try and figure out what the hell is wrong with my tractor surging and backfiring and won't cut and I got grass seven foot high so my son brought his zero turn out and cut it for me to take some of the pressure off of me until I get this repaired. But uh, I think the, my next step is these little screws right in here and I'm going to see what's below this jet tunnel if you will. You can see it there. I'm going to take those off and see if the other gaskets that they gave me in the kit are down below. Either the square one or the butterfly one. Alright guys, we'll just work our way down. Well, guess what guys? Below the, uh, the jet tunnel, or whatever you call this, is the butterfly gasket down in there. So I'm going to carefully look at that. See how it sits in there. If there's any differences, which I doubt there would be top and bottom. But I'm going to carefully remove that. And we got a new one over here. So the only one I don't know is the square one here. Where it goes. Probably in a different place. Maybe b below this. Eh, I'm not sure if I'm going to take that apart or not. But uh, I might watch a few more YouTube videos. And see if I can figure out where that one goes. Before I smack it all together. But this is primarily the carburetor portion of it. Um. You know, I'd be taking a chance if I put it back in there without putting all the gaskets in. So, I'll just take my time. Alright guys, the little butterfly gasket, if you will. It looks like a butterfly to me. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. This is the old one. And compared to the new one, the side profile from being smashed all that time was much thinner. But what I tried to do was I tried to seat this on the white, uh, whatever this is, the shaft for the jets. I don't know the official part name. I tried to seat it up into this 
and then place it down on there. Because when you lay it, just lay it down in there, it kind of falls down because these uh, circumferences here are larger than the uh, fuel rails, I guess, that go up. It's got holes in them. They're gold. There's two of them either side. So when I set this down in there, I set it in carefully, and I made sure that the gasket was seated up underneath the plastic because there was a ridge on the inside. There's a ridge all the way around it. So I made sure I'd done that and just started the screws in and worked it to where the gasket was up inside of here. So I feel fairly confident, until I start the mower, that uh, it's in place. And there are certain torque specs on these screws. I'm certain of that. If you want to look those up, it might be a, a good idea. I'm just getting them good and snug, hand tight. But don't follow my lead. You know, I don't want to mess up your tractor. So you all look them up and see what they say. I'm sure it's not a great deal because it's just plastic, but you need to get them snug. Okay, we're going to put the uh, float bowl back in place. And it just hangs down here, this little, I don't know what it's called. I forget, I've watched the other videos, but that'll just set in place here. I'm hopeful. That goes down into the bottom part there, so that's right in place. And then the pin, my pin's flat on the end. Yours might be as well to kind of get a hold of it. And it went in from the right hand side. And if you're left handed, like my youngest boy, uh, it should slip right in there, but it's not. There it is. And that you just center that, and this is actually held on. It, it's not held here. The cap will hold this in place so you, it won't fall out. All right, and now we got to put the big rings in. The center one here, which is captured, it goes right around this, and seats down in the bowl in the center of here. Now, last time I put it inside of here where I found it. The other guy said, don't shove it down inside of here, so I was real leery. So I may put it on this. Although that's pretty deep. There's no ridge in there to catch it. It is a pretty thick gasket though. I think I'm going to seat it on this. Uh, watch more YouTube videos or look up, call your uh, lawnmower dealer, whatever you think on yours. But I think I'm going to seat that on there. It sets down on here and then it screws on and that pushes it in. Let's see what it does when I take it off. Yep, it seats right down in the bowl, just like that. So that's what you can do. You set it right on here and when you push it down flat, it seats in the proper distance. And then you know exactly where your bolts are gonna, you know, your bolts are gonna hold it down snug. Uh, but don't shove it all the way down inside of here. I'm gonna do that when I assemble it. So we'll put it back on here. And if this doesn't fix my uh, idling and jumping up and down and so forth, which I'm praying that it does, this little booger right here might be the culprit. It's got a spring down in here, and it pulsates and shuts the fuel off for you. Sometimes these goes, goes bad, but uh, we'll try this gasket set first. The only one I don't know where this goes here, but i uh, got that gasket on there. And the big one is the bowl gasket. It goes around the outside. If I can get my fingers to make it go there. And snug it down into the hole. Try to get it not to pop out. Clean yours if it's dirty. Clean it out real good. Make sure there's no debris underneath. So we've got the float back in place. The jets have been replaced. A little butterfly gasket in this one. This is the last little booger. I'm probably going to have to watch some more videos, like I said. Figure out if this is up in here or where it might be. I just don't know. But anyhow, we're going to reassemble this now. Uh, note that this goes to your right. And I'm going to center this best I can. And let's see here. Push that down in there. Okay, put those screws in. Am I forgetting anything? You see, Jordan? No. All right, well, no, we try to start the mower and it don't run right. All right, we're gonna set these in here. They're Phillips or regular, but 
I'll probably finish off with my big regular tip. Let's get him started. I always try to run either bolt down just where it's starting to get snug and then you know center everything make sure it's aligned and then tighten on. There it is. Snug. Snug. Where's the big? Here's a regular. Hell, that Phillips probably work better than his regular, honestly. And I'm gonna snug it down like a motherfucker. Sorry for the cussing. Get it squared on the screw. Nice and hand tight. The gaskets are down in there. Okay, uh, just pause it again. Well, guys, we're gonna rent out this extremely long video. It's all reassembled. Uh, I'm looking for that last gasket. I can't find it yet. Um, I even took the plate off here on the back. There's just a flat gasket in this shape here. Underneath that, I found nothing else. So I guess my next step is coming down inside of here and seeing what I can find in this area. Uh, I'm going to look around and see if I can find another location for that gasket, but we'll see. Hold on. Okay, folks, welcome back. This is where it gets scary. I found the butterfly in the carburetor. Sorry about it, out of focus. I found a screw. And below these little openings here, see the longer plastic piece? I bet you a quarter that's where that long gasket goes. And I don't know what I'm going to have to do to remove that. I'm scared to death I'm going to drop something down in there. Hmm. Is it worth it? Should I try it in the way that it's configured right now? <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, let's see if I can get it off there. I guess I'm too stupid to be uh, doing it any other way. That sure looks like where that gasket's going to sit, right down below that. Alright guys, I'll check back with you. I need a magnetic screwdriver, that's for sure. Okay guys, we're going to end the video here. We're going to reassemble it. Uh, Put it all back together and see if it runs. Uh, I was not able to get that part out of there. I can unscrew it and I can take the butterfly off. Be real careful of that. Now I've got a little spring issue over here i got to fix uh, to keep the choke open. I mean the butterfly is open. Um, I couldn't get it out of there so sorry. Uh, I have to get me a new gasket as well there. I tore that while I was working in there. We'll talk to you all later.